Previously on Gears. Big news that came out yesterday. Did you hear the news yesterday, Nomi? No, I didn't. Mika Akinen. Oh, really? Coming to South Africa for the really? Top Gear Festival. Oh, nice. Very nice, eh? Cool guy. Very cool. Mika Akinen. <laughs> That's how they say it when, uh, when you're watching in Italy. Speaking of Italy, you've raced in Italy. Yes, I have. Where did you race in Italy? Which circuit? Um, Lenato. Oh, Lenato, okay. And La Conca as well. Okay, I don't know that one. It's in the south. Oh, okay. Yes, right in the hook of the boots. And did you, was that for karting? Yes, it was, for the World Championships. All right, let's find out a bit about Naomi. Went to a very fancy school, Daisy. <laughs> you know that. Really? What school did you go to, Daisy? I went to Collegiate. Is that a fancy school? That's a good school. No, Naomi's is fancy. She went to Crawford College. Ooh. Yes, Crawford. Is the one in Sandton? Yes. Oh, what a lovely school there. Very nice <laughs> swimming pool. Yeah. Uh, okay. So was that, uh, so when you were at school, were you racing? Yes, I was. I was racing. It was a little bit difficult to juggle the two. Was it one of the sports at Crawford? No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. So where did the love for racing come? Um, I don't actually know where it came from exactly. Mm -hmm. But my dad did used to race, so okay. a lot of people say it runs in the jeans. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, but I got into it when one of my good friends had an indoor karting birthday party. And I went there and I loved what a it. great idea. Yeah. Those are great parties. Yeah. So that, that's when it, it just sort of bugged. And then you went, hi, Dad. Everyone's doing ballet. Uh, I want to go and drive a go-kart. Well, exactly. I just begged him to take me back every day didn't want to leave he must have been excited he was have you got brothers or sisters no i don't i have an old, older sister i don't have brothers imagine how excited your dad must have been yeah oh my <laughs> god look at my beautiful girl she's a boy <laughs> <laughs> she's a boy no that's amazing so then i mean he must have supported you throughout your junior sort of um karting karting days yeah definitely in the beginning it was um a lot of just me and my dad and him teaching me a lot of things mm -hmm. and he always has he stayed around um he's still very supportive he's always awesome. there so it's good that's very cool so you did some some karting um and then you you did some karting world national uh, world finals and and those kind of things while you were still at school or after school no during school i only just matriculated now now yes really yes how old are you 17 18 are oh, you only 18 yes oh that's so sweet <laughs> 18 so you just finished matric yeah um that's quite a juggle because i mean you've got to take off a tremendous amount of time you know yes. sorry headmaster at crawford i'm off to belgium <laughs> to go and race around the legendary spa francochon yes exactly. those kind of things was that in carts as well uh, no, in, in that, sp when I went to Spa, the first time I went, I was in a radical. Okay, because I don't think a yeah, go kart, no. <laughs> don't think a go kart would make one lap with we don't have enough petrol. No, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in a radical. Yes. How did that come about? Um, well, I'm originally from Belgium, and I know um, another again another family friend races in a series there, and he mm -hmm. said we should come over and try it. So I went there, um, and coming from a single seater sort of side. The radical was the best thing at the time to do, so yeah. we chose to go with the radical, and it went well. It was really nice. I loved the circuit. Beautiful place. Amazing. Was it raining? Yes, it was. Yeah, <laughs> typical Belgium. Yeah. Four seasons in an hour. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so originally from Belgium, were yes. you born in Belgium? Yes, I was. Where in Brussels? Uh, Antwerp. Antwerp. Very yes. nice. Okay, I've been to Antwerp, Zolder, Is and it? to uh, Spa. Okay. Nice. Very no, very very nice. Yeah. Because I although they don't make very good food. You don't it's think? all a bit bland. You don't think? No, they make those um, the waffle thingies. They make those the are not best, bad. Like and pastries. I the see, but I'm on diet. Can't eat that. <laughs> yes. Sorry. And then I saw the mannequin piss. Oh really? Yeah, the big thing. I went to yes. the Tintin shop. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some great things that come out of Belgium yeah. and chocolate. Yes. yes, but you've given that up for Lent. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fall asleep now, no, Daisy. Okay, so Belgium, then you come to South Africa. You get uh, your training uh, wheels in, in karting. You go and do a couple of things. You've done a couple of VW races as well, Formula VW. Yes, I have. Very I, expensive, though. That's the reason why I only yeah. did a few of them. I, in 2010, I made the switch over to Formula VW, yes. which is really nice. I also love that. It's, it's yeah. single seat in nature. And, yeah, after three races, we kind of just ran out of the budget. Well, you see, this is where I have a slight problem with, with that formula in South Africa. It is 
it is such a great car to drive. It really, I mean, you it know, really is. it's a magic car. Yeah. But the costs are so prohibitive. I know. You know, and 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 it's not doesn't seem as though it's going anywhere. So if you win that series, it's not as though like, oh, okay, now I've got a chance to go to GP3 or GP2 exactly. or or Formula 3 or Formula 3000 or or something like that. Mm -hmm. So very very expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so you went VWs, and now what are you doing? You're back in carts. Well, at the moment, yes, I'm back in carts. I'm racing in the X30 category, which is relatively new. Can you beat Leroy? I've beaten Leroy. Yes! Actually. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Awesome. Let's find that, because Leroy is hot. Yes, I've beaten him. Good. Yeah. Let's phone him. <laughs> Leroy, no, me beat you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's terrific. I mean, that, that you know, to me, that's the one hell of a high benchmark. Mm -hmm. You can beat Leroy. Who else have you beaten? Who are the other guys? Uh, Wesley, did he used to do it? Well, yes, I have beaten Wesley in yeah. Super Rock. I beat okay, Wesley Super Rock. and Robert Briggs. Whoa, that's a biggie. He used to be my coach, actually. Robert is a very, very talented yes, driver. I just beat him last weekend, actually. Uh, that's terrific. <laughs> He's a good tin top racer as well. Yeah, very good. Very, very good driver. So, I mean, you've really, you, you've, you've paid your school fees uh, at 18 years old. <laughs> That's incredible. I, I mean, that's tremendous success. Thank you. Well, I guess you could say that, but obviously, keep learning. Of course, of course. So what? So now you're racing six-speed um, shifters, shifters carts, yes. which is, I mean, that's amazing. It really is fast. It's eh? like a racing car, in yeah, miniature size. And now, what's your objective now with that? Surely, it's going to go to well, world champs. Yes, I'm planning on going at the end of March to, to start the World Championship in Belgium. It actually is the first round in Belgium. Excellent. It's actually it's one round, but on two different days. Okay, but this is not Rotax. No. This is not. the proper, this with is, no disrespect to Rotax, that's the one. Yes. That's the one you want to win. Perilla, yes. You'll race against Schumacher. Maybe. I think he'll be there. Really? To be very honest. Okay. Wow. I think Schumacher will be Michael. will be there. Oh, really? Yeah. That would be a nice match oh, to be. That would be that's not bad. <laughs> Especially, and where are you racing that one? In Belgium. In Belgium. at. It should be, I think it's, it should be, oh no, it's. Um, Might be his new track. It's not, it's not at Genk, it's on another track. All Belgium. right, okay. Yeah. Now, the whole thing about this is, how do you fund this? Well, that is the big question. Because ah. this year I was actually thinking of going to race uh, Formula Renault 1.6 litre in the Northern v European Championship. Very, very great category to be in exactly as well. Exactly, because it bridges the gap between karting and Formula Renault 2 litre. That's right. So that is the place to be. But obviously now all that's left is the money. Yeah. And with the year and dollar, euro not going so favorably at the exactly. moment, it's very, very expensive. Yeah. What, what do you think, uh, in terms of money, how much would be needed for you to go and do complete, let's say, the, the karting uh, championship and then getting into uh, Formula Renault 1.6? Well, I know that the budget for the Formula Renault 1.6 litre is around 90,000 euros. All right. So it's a million bucks. Yes. You need a million rand. Yes. Wow. Well, Lindsay, best you go out there and start uh, groveling, my friend. <laughs> it's a million rand just to race the car. Yes. Okay. Then that excludes transport. No, oh, it, that actually, excludes it excludes everything. So you know what? It's not, it's not ridiculous. It's not unreachable. Yeah. Um, so have you got other sponsors? Have you got sponsors at present? No, at the moment, what I've got is more of like donations, not an actual structured sponsor okay. that's contracted. Yeah, so we need to put you in touch with the Renault people. Yes, we do. What a very good idea. That's a good idea. You must go and see Xavier. Xavier. Xavier Drenner. I'll note that. Yeah, go and see Xavier <laughs> Drenner. You never know. Maybe you do something. But mm -hmm. I think that's, a, 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 you know, for a million rand, it sounds like it's crazy money, but a million rand... Uh, not a lot of money it's not when it comes to racing and it's six events Which all over great. northern europe and six extra test days as well as hotel and transport of the vehicles that's incredible so and renault lot. look after the vehicles well obviously you've got your different teams yes. it's not renault specific okay yeah yeah yes. okay renault look after the engines and then you've yes. got specific teams and yes. from there you do setup and 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 those kind of things exactly. but but in the formula as well those engines aren't tampered with it's everyone's basically got the same engine basically yes okay so it's a relatively fair it is fairer kind of nice uh, forma, formula exactly and what's nice about it as well is that most of the people coming into the class are from karting so yeah. you start on a level playing field you know it's not like they've had years of experience in the car and there i come trying to do what they can do exactly so most of it should be equal but now you have to cut your hair off no no no, no. <laughs> add, add extra weight <laughs> I'm just jealous because I've got no hair. You've got beautiful hair. <laughs> Thank you. Very, Thank very you. nice. Beautiful hair. Okay, so the thing about it is you've got to try and find sponsors. 
in order to when does the the Formula Renault one point six uh, series start? The first race is on the seventh of April. Jeez, it's two months ago mm-hmm. away. Dazzy, what about the checkbook? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, with all my rants and cents. Well, you see, if you hadn't drunk so much last night, you would have, <laughs> you would have been able to have some cash out today. Um, have you been to see people? I mean, people in in the motorsport people know who you are. Yes. You know. Well, we have been. We've been looking. Mm, um, mm. It's just a lot of money to yes. ask for, and people aren't really so willing to let go of that much money. Go and ask for two million, not one. <laughs> oh, really? And it's then come funny, down to one. It's a funny kind of a thing. If you go into a bank, if you go into the bank and say, "I need ten thousand rand," you it'll take you. Days and days of filling out forms and this, that, and whatever to try and get you 10,000 rand. But if you go into the bank and say, I need 5 million rand, amazing how quickly they'll talk to you. They're not necessarily going to give it to you, but they'll talk to you a lot mm-hmm. quicker. So go and ask for two. Okay. Then you could do two seasons I'll try already. That strategy. <laughs> no, listen, I, I, th- I mean, there must be people who, are, who, 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 who've got to be interested in, in trying to uh, support your, uh, your career. You're young. You're very, very talented. You've got all the looks and the pulp package around you as well. So it also helps. Thank you. You know, you don't look like Robert Kubica, <laughs> for example. You know. Thank so, um, I mean, I really, really wish you well. I mean, um, there must be people, surely, who would be uh, interested in, in supporting you. I think it's a great career move as well. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's nice to be part of a sport that's so different. Nobody expects it mm. because it's such a male-dominated sport. Yeah. So it's nice to, you know. You know, for a million rand, that's a hell of a lot less than racing Formula VW in South Africa. Exactly. And that's what's so crazy. It's more. Well, it is. I mean, hate to say it, but when you're racing in Europe, People notice what's happening in exactly. Europe. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. Because the Formula VW budget's not so far away from that budget. No, exactly. I know. Yeah. Wait till you race in tin tops to see how expensive that is. <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievable as well. Well, listen. Um, number one, it is fantastic to meet you and great to have you. Uh, great to have you in the studio as well. Thank um, you. And we do hope you get lots of supporters on your Twitter and your Facebook or whatever. But most importantly, let's hope that uh, somebody comes in and jumps in and says, hey, listen, Naomi Schiff is our, uh, hope you're going to race in South African colors. Well, definitely. Yes. Naomi Schiff I'm is. I'm under South African racing license. There so we I go. Have to, you have I to. Want to. <laughs> Good. We want Naomi Schiff up there in the headlights and uh, our future GP3, GP2 Formula One driver. Yes. That's mm. me. I think that would be <laughs> terrific. Well, listen, we wish you all of the best. Thank you so much. And uh, please keep us up to date with everything that you're doing, and, and we'll try our best from our side to maintain that uh, we keep you in the public eye. We will. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thanks very Thank much for you. coming <laughs> through. There we go. The gorgeous and supremely talented one and only Naomi Schiff right here on Gears. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gears with Sasha Martinengo. Bulls.co.za